Yo, what is up, mentor? It's Super Ninja Trader here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you an update on my leopard gecko, Zoe. So if you're wondering what this is around it, well, it's starting to snow outside. And my window gets kind of cold, so I put this around it to get it a little bit warm. I'm just going to take this down for the video so you can see her a little bit better. There she is. I got some new stuff in here. Um, I got a bigger mealworm thing for her so she can, so the mealworms won't get out. Got two water things right there, one right there. I know they rarely drink water, but whatever. I got her a little plant, and then she likes to sit on this and watch it, so that's why I got it for her. Just like a little bed to keep her a little bit warmer. Uh, it's really warm in here. She likes to sleep right in the middle. It's really cute. But yeah, this is Zoe and all her glory. She is really pretty. Um, her colors are awesome. Her tail is nice and fat, and... I'm going to go ahead and get her out here. I like to let her know that I'm here before I get her so like I don't like completely terrify her because <laughs> I've done that one time where she doesn't know that I was in here or that I was going to get her and I touched her and she jumped. I like to scare her first I like to like rub her head and stuff. Come here Zoe don't be shy. She, she's like no I don't want to be in a video. You don't like to be on camera. Careful, Zoe. Don't want to walk backwards. Okay. Here she is. Zoe. And if you've watched any of my other videos, first I thought she was a boy, but I figured out that she's actually a girl. So my apologies there. Um, but yeah, she's a girl. Where are you going? And I don't know if you guys can see or not, but she's been getting this orange that's been going down her tail even more, and it looks really cool. She used to have it just, like, up there, but now it's right there. And it might look like the camera's, like, right up against her tail, but it's actually not. It's actually really not even close, but... Yeah, she's just... Heck. Don't focus, okay. Just a really pretty leopard gecko. Come here, Zoe. And yes, she's tame and stuff. I take her out pretty much every day and handle her. She likes to walk around. I don't like to touch her tail that much, so I know they can drop it, so I'm like paranoid about it, but hey, better be paranoid than rather for her to lose her tail, right? Come here. She's really cute. She, yeah, her tail's been getting a lot fatter. Doesn't look really fat on camera, but it is compared to when I first got her. Come here, Zoe. Mama. I could actually maybe show you what her tail looked like. Uh when I got her. I have a video on YouTube. Hang on, let me pull it up. I'll just pause the video. So this was actually three months ago. Um, look, see how skinny her tail used to be. As you can see, it's been taking some bread off of it. And then... Compared to now, it's a lot bigger. One time, actually, an interesting story. I'm gonna actually make this into a life story. When I was handling her one day, she was on my belly. I had no shirt on. 
I just got out of the shower, I was all nice and clean and stuff. And she actually, I must have taken her out right before she like had to use the bathroom or something. And she pooped. <laughs> I feel weird uh, saying this, but she pooped. And it slid into my belly button. That was actually kind of hilarious. But yeah. I'm not like a bad owner or anything. I buy her. I bought her everything with my own money. Buy her her crickets. I'm actually breeding crickets now. They're in there. The little baby crickets are under there in the other tub. You can't really see it. Just hang on a second. I'm going to close this one. But yeah. And basically, when I put her back, hang on, if I can switch hands here. Come here, Zoe. Come here, honey. When I put her back, I like... I, I'm really glad I got this because it's a lot easier than to put her down all the way on the ground. Because I feel more comfortable because if she's trying to get off, then she doesn't, uh, like, she has, a, like, at least four or five inches higher. And then she likes to sit up here and watch people sometimes. But yeah, she's a really pretty little leopard gecko. I'm really glad I got her. Have no regrets about getting her. Still love her all the same. Um, I would like to be a leopard gecko, you know, have this whole thing to myself. <laughs> but yeah, still, I'm breeding them. Uh, they're actually breeding right now, I think, so I'm just going to leave them alone. Oh, they still have the same stuff, actually. I'm feeding her Reptivite, her vitamins right now. Her calcium. These are for the little crickets. These are, this is for the big crickets, and this is, like, just so they can hide and stuff. Um, but yeah, still basically doing the same, the same stuff. Yeah. So, that was my update on my leopard gecko, Zoe. If you guys have a leopard gecko... And if you want to share her or, like, tell me its name or something in the description, go ahead and feel free to. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my turds.